Believe it or not, but my next guest this morning, along with being a fantastic singer and an accordion player, she is the founder of the Umbrella Cover Museum on Peaks Island, Maine. Now, this is the world's first and only Umbrella Cover Museum. Nancy Three Hoffman, she spends her winters here in Key West, but then she returns to Maine for their summer season. She has to get back to Maine because this Umbrella Cover Museum has become such a favorite attraction of so many visitors to the island. Nancy Three, it is a pleasure having you back on the show today. Good morning, Jenna. <laughs> Thank you. Let's start by talking about the Umbrella Cover Museum, Nancy. Now, what inspired you to start this museum? Well, you know how you have umbrella covers, and I'm talking about these little sleeves, just the slip covers <laughs> that come on umbrellas. They just end up being accumulating around your house. Mm -hmm. And I realized that one day I had a few umbrella covers, you know, three or four, but I couldn't quite throw them out. I wondered about why they were manufactured. I never thought people used them mm -hmm. because they're so hard to get back on the umbrella. And so I started asking people if they kept their umbrella covers. And a lot of people did, and mm -hmm. they would give them to me. Without really thinking much about it, I put them on my wall and wrote a little note about who they came from and why they kept the cover or where they bought the umbrella, some little anecdote. And it just kept growing from there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because I have to admit, anytime I get an umbrella, I throw the umbrella cover away. Well, you are a pretty neat person. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's just so, sometimes it's almost an unneeded thing on the umbrella. Because, like you said, we right. almost never put it back right, on the umbrella. Right. Well, having run the museum for about 17 years now, mm -hmm. I've found out that about, I'd say, 17% of people use their umbrella covers all the time. Okay. Which astounded me. And about 17% throw them out, and the rest of us just stick them in the closet uh -huh. and in the drawer. Those are the ones I get. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Nancy, you get umbrella covers from not just here in our country, but all over the world. Yes, it's become an international phenomenon. Wow. So I now have umbrella covers from 50 different countries, wow. and I have, at last count, 730 umbrella sleeves, unique ones that look different, completely different. They all have a unique story. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. that 730 actually broke a world record, right? Broke Nancy? and <laughs> created a world record. That's yeah. Great. Shall I show my <laughs> yes, show your certificate? Right. I know this so was exciting for you. This was my, one of my dreams was to get a Guinness world record. I mean, mm -hmm. You have a collection of a million, you know, or whatever, however many, 730 unusual items, mm -hmm. and just want to make it known to the world. So I applied. It took four years of applying. They rejected me the first few times, but then I think they really believed that I was determined mm -hmm. to get a world record, and I did. So last summer, on July 7th, we had an official count. I had judges that I invited. They charge a lot to bring them over from England or the official judges. So they approved a couple of judges and about 100 people came and we counted all the umbrella covers in the museum out in the yard. We put them on strings by color and size <laughs> and it was really a fun event. You can see That's the video great. online on my website. So 730, Nancy. Mm -hmm. That is quite an accomplishment. Thank you. Yeah. And now, Nancy, how long is the museum open? It's open from Memorial Day weekend, spotty through the month of June, and then really in earnest July and August. But check the website for when um, to come, or especially um, call me or email me and make sure. Okay. Now, I'll be there. Is there an admission charge or is it? It's a donation, donation. You know, okay. requesting a donation. Mm -hmm. And what you'll see in the museum, we have exhibits, and I brought a sample. This is a, a frame with an exhibit that has the story of the umbrella cover, and I'll just quickly read this little story because they all have a story. So what do I spy? Something rolling around in the wind when I approached an umbrella cover, which happened to be purple, the same color as my pants, and the same color as the umbrella cover I found on Santorini, with my honey last year. And that was donated by Simone, who's a potter in Key West. So people just find them sometimes mm -hmm. and know where to donate them because I'm the only 
real depository of umbrella covers. <laughs> repository. Here's a cool one. That's the Lion King. The Lion King. <laughs> I know. Oh, and this first one I showed was donated by Susan Powell, former Miss America, mm -hmm. who has sung in Key West a lot with Bobby Nesbitt. Right. So and she Bobby donated brought that, that for, uh -huh, for That's me. Great. Mm -hmm. And now you do have a mission statement of the Umbrella Museum. Our here. mission is celebrating the mundane. That's our motto. Mm -hmm. Appreciating the mundane in everyday life finding wonder and beauty in simple things, and knowing that there's always a story behind the cover. I love that. Thank you. That's a great <laughs> mission statement, Nancy. Thanks. That truly is. And it's right near Portland, Maine. Mm -hmm. So you just you get to Portland, two hours north of Boston, mm -hmm. take a ferry over. It's a very idyllic place, and great spot for a summer vacation or mm -hmm. stop over. There are some inns there. Okay. So come visit. All right. Well, Nancy, you're going to be leaving us soon, but you do still have some performances coming up. As I mentioned, mm -hmm. you sing and you also play the accordion. Nancy. I play the accordion. <laughs> I play the piano. I play the ukulele. And right now, I'm playing in the band for the Drowsy Chaperone, okay. which opens at the Waterfront Playhouse tomorrow and runs through uh, March 30th. It's a great show. It's a fabulously entertaining, funny, witty, um, surprising musical with almost every star of Key West fame in it. Mm -hmm. So come out and see that. And then the Keys Kids group, which I play with also and am one of the musical directors, we're going to put on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's a little different than the Disney version, but it's really, really cute. And that's um, in April the 11th through the 13th at the high school. And you can call MacArthur Music for tickets on that one. Then I have a cabaret coming up with Larry Smith at the Pier House. And that will be Sunday, Easter Sunday, March 31st. Great. And I brought along a ukulele. Yeah, you have to, to give us a little, uh, give you a a little, little sample. taste of your music this So what morning. I do, I do a really international cabaret. Mm -hmm. um, I sing in 15 languages. They probably won't all be on the program, but mm -hmm. a few of them will. And um, I do a lot of humor. I talk about the Umbrella Cover Museum. I'll brag about my world record, <laughs> you know, things like that. And it's always a very spontaneous and fun evening, 9 o'clock at the Wine Galley. So I thought I would just give you a little sample of one of the things I'm going to do. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. Me, oh my, yo. Oh. Me gotta go, Paul, P wrote down the bio. My Yvonne, sweetest one, me, oh my, hi, yo. Mm, gone by, mm, 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 I'm on camera, I'm shy. <laughs> hey, Jambala. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know Jambala, you're not shy, Nancy. <laughs> crawfish pie, filet gumbo. For tonight, I'm gonna see my Michelle me, yo. Pick guitar, fill fruit jar, and be gay, yo. Son of a gun, gonna have big fun on the bio. <laughs> All right. Yay, that was great, <laughs> Nancy. You. And I know I've been to one of your shows before, and you're great. And Thank you also you. have to tell our viewers, you do belly dancing, too, don't you, Nancy? I do a little belly dancing, <laughs> usually, in the show. It's, like I said, it's very spontaneous. I have a song where I wear eight-inch high platform red patent leather heels uh -huh. which are being repaired I've used them so much they, <laughs> they need a little sprucing up so I'll do that song in these shoes yes yeah. well yeah. you are a very very interesting woman Nancy Thank you, <laughs> and Jen. it's always a pleasure having you here in Key West Thanks. and I, I wish you much success with your umbrella cover museum Thank you. hopefully that number gets even larger it will I know <laughs> send your umbrella covers yeah. okay <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break right now I'll be right back after these messages so don't go away there's much more to come this morning